Good morning, folks, and welcome to another edition of City Hall Live. I am Joe Abeta, and joining us today is the City Councilor Roman Tiger Abeta from District 3. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Good, good. Thank you for coming and joining us. Sure. We, got, we got some things to talk about with you. Um, one of the main things, right, is is this uh, is it the dog chain ordinance? What, what, what's the It's an word? amendment to our existing animal ordinance, okay. and it's actually the ordinance was introduced by Councillor Lindell, mm -hmm. and I'm a co-sponsor along with a couple of other councillors. Okay, and what is it in layman's terms? What what is it going to do? What it is is it's it's requiring putting in more or different requirements than we've had in the past, uh, primarily focusing on the welfare and well-being of dogs. Okay. And, and, and really it's what, like no chain, chained up dogs, uh, well, that type of thing, or what? Yeah, well, there's a there's a few items in there. One is no tethering of dogs. Okay. So, you know, with a big heavy chain on a dog and dog can't move and mm -hmm. it's just kind of stuck there. On a, like, a, like a spike with a, like they did in the 70s or type right. of thing, right? Right. Okay. And uh, we need to make sure that they have a, a shelter that is roomy for them, that mm -hmm. keeps them warm and... Uh, there's a lot of talk about uh, in the ordinance also about uh, animal control being able to go into the property seek permission first but if there isn't and there is a, a dog that is in living in inhumane conditions mm -hmm. they can go ahead and enter the property and and uh, issue citations and do what they have to do to correct the the problem it's interesting that in the world that we live in today right where you know you have a pet you uh you want the dog to be there yes. that you want to take care of them right and and not. well and i think i think it's i mean we always we know when we'd walk by that house when we were going to johnny's cash store and there's yes. a mean dog on the chain and yeah so there but i think for the most part people really do care about their pets they care about their dogs and a lot of what we put in the ordinance they're doing mm -hmm. it's just for those that maybe don't understand or or just, know you just that, want to cover your bases right well so that because maybe there's a younger people newer pet owners that are excited because they have their dog and they don't realize well you, you have to take care of your dog like you take care of your child I yeah. mean, if it's if it's too cold for you to be outside it's probably too cold for your dog to be outside yes yeah. if, if it's too warm to be outside and like in the summer when it gets over 90 degrees it's you make sure your dog has shade, your dog has water, your dog has, can come inside the house, mm -hmm. things like that. I think it's more of a reminder than anything, because I think for the most part, a lot of people, they, they treat their pets like the family, members of the family. Yeah. No, I think that's important. And I know that Councillor Lindell, you know, she we did a little spot when she said, hey, the snow, cold weather's coming, make sure that, you know. Yeah, your it, pets are brought inside. Bring your pets in. And, and there are some dogs, you know, there's country do, do, country dogs that, you know they're used to that stuff and you know well they, but in but even in that case country dogs there's usually have barns or an opening in the barn that, or that, in there where they sleep, i mean sleep in the hay or something like I, that i remember my my uh my my grandpa's family from espanola they had a they had a ranch and they had a farm and but the dogs were <laughs> all well taken care of yeah uh, some of them they slept inside even though they were country dogs so mm -hmm. i think a lot of it is just but writing down what I think a lot of pet owners are already doing, just like making it ordinance so that, like I said, maybe there is an instance where somebody just doesn't know, or there is a, a problem, and it's like, well, you, you know, you gotta, these are the the rules you gotta follow. And you want to make sure that you want to make sure that all pets are treated humanely, and this yes. is just kind of a polish. Make sure, hey, we're just trying to tweak this a little bit, and we want to make it aware that people need to take care of, of all pets that are outside bring them in when it's hot or cold. So let me ask you, do you have pets? Do you have, I do, I do. What do you have? I have a, I have a dog and then we have like kind of a adopted dog when my mother-in-law's out of town and stuff, yeah. And do you, does the dog, there's a big chain in the backyard? No, there's, there's absolutely no chain. He, okay. And he doesn't like to go for walks anymore because he's kind of an older guy. Okay. But he spends most of the time inside. Inside, He okay. only goes outside when he has to remark his territory. And, and, would, you, and would you leave him out in the cold? Uh, absolutely, my, cold? The, the wife would not let him do that. See, and I think that's the way most, yeah, right? most pet owners are. But it's just, it's, I think it's good that, we, that our ordinances reflect the behavior mm -hmm. that we we want that's right and that we're already doing in most cases yeah no absolutely um so th that's great and so uh that's going to council yeah it's going through the committee process okay. now okay. and then it, i believe the here it, it'll be at council the hearing in march i okay. think march 11th okay great so, yeah. i mean who could complain about that right 
You, you, we might get it. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, hey, you want dog, you know, you want your pets to be treated right. So that that seems like a slam dunk to me. No, but. like I said, it's 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 behavior and uh, that we just want to codify that I think the majority of people are already following. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. It's just if there is complaints, I would imagine it would be well, don't tell me how to how to live my life or how to what, live, yeah. I, I know how to take care of my dog. You don't have to tell me. I don't think anybody's going to come out in public and say that though. <laughs> no, but sometimes people do get a little yeah. sensitive when it comes to I got government overreaching or in, getting in, involved in, in our, I got our daily. Yeah. But, but I, I've actually, I've received nothing but positive, positive emails and a, uh, a lot of residents thanking Councilor Lindau for bringing this forward mm -hmm. and, uh, and saying how important it is and we're doing a we're working together with you and Councilor Lindell to do a spot yes and we're gonna be it's, it's starring a couple of dogs that we know what yeah you, I've got I've got I've got Murph and Chloe yeah, that's right <laughs> and he's and, been and, Murph, and there's and, a doggy door that they go in and out and that's they, right yeah and Murph's a method actor so <laughs> I know that he's been working on because he's supposed to play a vicious dog and I know that's kind of a reach for him because he's a such reach. a sweetheart he's right? not really yeah yeah that's, I yeah. got gotcha. you. Chloe, on the other hand, she's just she's actually more protective. Gotcha. And my my, my dog's getting groomed this Saturday to be in it. So to be in the commercial. Yeah. So we're getting rid of. He's getting all rid of all the hair. Of like he has like a yes. So he's getting rid of <clears throat> his hair, and he's going to be nice and ready to go. So all right. It'll be good good stuff. So be looking out for that. That's going to be. That's we're going to do a little fun way of doing it, right? Like uh, Anchorman, with like the subtitles <laughs> below and stuff. So what the dogs are thinking. <laughs> He should be really cool, yeah. Maybe they'll Absolutely. they'll thank Councilor Lindell for <laughs> yeah, they'll thank Councilor Lindell that <laughs> for introducing the ordinance amendments. That's right. And how come the marriage dogs aren't in this? <laughs> I don't know. We can ask him.